Well, hi, good morning. You're welcome to Warma Plus on TV3. My name is Yao Ofusulabi, just how we do it every Saturday morning. We're on your TV set bringing you exciting sports news from here in our studios at TV3. My name is Yao Ofusulabi, as I told you earlier, and today we are bringing you something more special. Samoleto is in Ghana, a man who has won multiple trophies and personal uh, individual records for himself. He's a huge African football legend and he's joining us in the studio this morning. generational talent that became known more for spectacular finishing than many in the game. When football superstars gather, he is one of the few classified in the bracket as truly world class. Defenders in Spain, Italy, England and Russia tasted the sharpness of this two-edged sword. A man widely recognized in world football for his ability on the ball and consistency in front of goal. Which sets him apart from the park. He has shared the pitch with greats like Lionel Messi, Ronaldinho, Deco, Thierry Henry, Andres Iniesta, Xavi, and several other football greats. Guided and mentored by famous names in the dugout like Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho, he knew his craft. With 724 games under his belt in the professional game, our special guest today scored 362 goals and made 117 assists in his career. He scored 26 goals in the 2006-2007 season to become the top goal scorer for Barcelona in the Spanish league. But that is not the whole story of this undisputed king of goals. After joining Real Madrid from Kaji Sports Academy in Cameroon, he was loaned to Leganes, Espanyol and Mallorca before moving to Barcelona in 2004. After becoming the record holder for most La Liga appearances by an African, he moved to Inter Milan under Jose Mourinho in 2009, before the twilight of his career saw spells at Anjima Kashkala, Chelsea, Everton, Sampdoria, Antaliaspor, and Konyaspor, and finally, Qatar SC. Internationally, he was the youngest player at the 1998 World Cup after making Cameroon squad at the age of 17. The Cameroon legend also went on to claim gold at the 2000 Olympics as well as two Africa Cup of Nations titles in 2000 and 2002. A true maestro of the African game, he made 118 appearances for Cameroon and scored 56 goals for his country. Now he is a man chasing other dreams. He is shaping lives and supporting young players to find purpose. He is currently the Cameroonian Football Association president and serves on several FIFA committees. A true ambassador of the beautiful game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Qatar Legacy Ambassador, Samuel Eto, here to share his experiences and knowledge about the beautiful game. Right, so this is us here on Warmer Plus and Samuel Eto is already seated. And let's just get started with the interview now. Samuel, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you feeling? All good. All right, let's, let's just start now. I mean, uh, um, ever since your announcement that you were going to come to Ghana, there's been a lot of um, buzz on social media. Everybody is excited to have Eto in Ghana. What does that make you feel? Oh, le... je suis très heureux de savoir que mes frères sont heureux uh, de s'imaginer que je peux venir passer du temps chez nous au Ghana. Well, um, I'm happy that my brothers are, are enthused about my presence in Ghana. Right. Now, Samuel, what do you make of the, the World Cup going to Qatar this year? Huge, huh? What do you think of the presence of uh, Africa in Qatar this year? Of the Federation? La fête. Oui. <laughs> C'était très compliqué. Well, it was uh, très, très a daunting task. But there is a God that exists somewhere. But as I always say, there is a God somewhere. <laughs> which is really huge. But, I mean, what are your expectations as a Qatar Legacy Ambassador for the World Cup? What are your expectations for the World Cup? But I don't wait for us. For us, it's a fact that it will be the best Coupe du Monde. 
Et ce que je veux, c'est que euh, ça se passe très bien pour notre continent, l'Afrique, que tous nos fans euh, passent un bon moment euh, à Doha, au, au Qatar, et surtout que nos équipes euh, nous fassent rêver et qu'on soit euh, euh, le dernier continent à, à sortir de ce tournoi. Well, um, this no longer, I, don't, I no longer have expectation because it mm. is a fact. We have, we will be going and uh, um, I want uh, African fans and African... Um, et les joueurs africains. Okay. And uh, African players to go there uh, in Doha, have a good time mm. and play a beautiful game so that at the end, uh, African teams will be one of the last to leave the competition. All right. Now, uh, Samo, you're in Ghana as a legacy ambassador to kind of rally fans and uh, just uh, push the World Cup to a different level. How is the work going for you? You are in Ghana to assemble the fans and to make advance the work vis-à-vis of the Cup of the World. So, how has it evolved from your side? Very well. Très très bien. Nous sommes heureux de savoir que euh, nos fans euh, du Ghana euh, sont heureux de, de notre présence et très excités de, de, de venir vivre cette Coupe du Monde pour encourager les Black Stars. Well, uh, all is going well and uh, we are also happy that uh, the fans in Ghana are enthused about it and uh, we want to encourage them to come and uh, witness uh, a beautiful game in Qatar and also to rally behind the Black Stars. So, well, is, is Qatar ready for the World Cup? Oh. <laughs> well, two years now. Qatar has been ready for two years now. <laughs> Let's move on now to your personal experiences at the World Cup. You participated uh, in four different World Cups. What did you learn from each of the World Cups you played in? Uh, uh, chaque Coupe du Monde um, est, 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 est différente. Chaque Coupe du Monde est différente, mais c'est la même belle fête. Et euh, à chaque fois, nous attendons quatre ans pour euh, passer un très, très beau moment. Euh, ce que j'ai appris de toutes ces Coupes du Monde, c'est que c'est la plus belle fête qui existe dans le milieu euh, du football et qui ne se tient pas chaque année. Euh, ayant cette, es cette exclusivité, il est important que nous, Africains, euh, nous fassions tout pour que... Uh, uh, cette fois-ci, uh, le nom de notre continent soit hissé le plus haut possible. Well, uh, the World Cup is actually uh, unique. Every World Cup is unique, uh, and um, it's also the same uh, beautiful uh, atmosphere. And uh, it it takes place every four years. Now, this will be one of the most uh, is one of the most beautiful celebration when it comes to football. And uh, we want uh, African teams to partake mm. and. Uh, uh, have a, beef, a beautiful World Cup. World Cup, great. Now, Samo, there are five African teams at the World Cup this time around. What do you make of each one of them? Let's start from Ghana. What do you make of the Ghana team? Is it, is it good enough to play at the World Cup? Il y a cinq équipes qui vont prendre part à la Coupe du Monde cette année. Et on va commencer par le Ghana. Quelles sont les chances du Ghana, selon vous? Le Ghana et toutes les autres équipes africaines, et comme euh, toutes les équipes participantes, euh, ont les mêmes chances. Euh, euh, personne ne va en Coupe du Monde en sachant qu'il va, qu va, qu va gagner ce trophée. Évidemment que d'autres pensent qu'ils ont beaucoup plus de possibilités, mais euh, que ce soit le Ghana, le Cameroun, le, le Maroc, la Tunisie, euh, euh, je, 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 je pense vraiment que nous avons tous euh, les mêmes chances. Well, Ghana, just like uh, any other African countries, uh, have the same chances. Mm. Everybody goes into the competition with the hope of winning it. Uh, so all African countries, all the five that are partaking it, in it, I hope they all um, they have the same chances of winning it. Samuel, let's, uh, let, let's head to your country as well, Cameroon. I mean, um, you qualified for the World Cup in some very dramatic circumstances. But, I mean, looking at your team, is this a Cameroon team that can go for the tournament at, at, in Qatar? Nous avons une, une très très belle équipe. Je profite encore pour dire grand bravo à, cette, à ce brillant groupe qui a qualifié notre beau pays, le Cameroun, en Coupe du Monde. Nous avons une très très belle équipe et avec euh, un bon sélectionneur. Et nous avons espoir d'aller très très loin dans cette compétition. Et nous rêvons, comme les autres nations, à pouvoir euh, euh, gagner cette Coupe du Monde. 
Well, uh, Cameroon has a very beautiful team. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, I want to seize the opportunity to congratulate them for uh, qualifying to the World Cup. Yeah. We do have a beautiful team indeed, and also a great coach. And of course, uh, uh, we hope to go far and uh, dream of uh, uh, raising the trophy. Right. Now, uh, uh, Samuel, uh, talking about, you know, uh, Cameroon, I mean, um, a, lot of, a lot of people were shocked that you stuck with Rigobert Song as, as coach of the side. What went into that decision? Oh, je, je pense qu'il n'y avait pas meilleur choix que Rigobert Song. Uh, Rigobert Song a été cette légende mondiale que nous avons tous uh, connue. Il a décidé à un moment donné de mettre euh, euh, son expérience, ses connaissances au service euh, du football de, de notre pays et de notre continent, l'Afrique. Et pour moi, devenir président de cette fédération, il n'y avait pas meilleur choix que celui de Rigo Berson. Je well, uh, would say there was no better choice than uh, selecting Rigo Berson. Il est un world legend et uh, il a brought son expérience to bear. Uh, on what uh, he did with uh, Cameroon and also worldwide. Yeah. So as um, the president of the Federation, mm. there was no better choice than Rigo Besson to do that job. All right, Samo, let's, uh, we, we've touched on Ghana, we've touched on Cameroon, but um, there are two other North African countries who will be going to the World Cup. Uh, there's Tunisia and then there's Morocco. What do you make of the North African chances at the World Cup as well? I mean, it hasn't been uh, great as it has been for countries like Cameroon and Ghana. But do you feel it's the time for North African countries to make a statement at the World Cup? Oh, moi, je ne fais pas euh, cette différence-là entre euh, l'Afrique du Nord et, et, et le reste. Pour moi, tout ça, c'est l'Afrique. Euh, et, et je pense que, que ce soit la Tunisie, que ce soit le, euh, euh, le Maroc, euh, c est, c est, ces deux pays ont les mêmes chances que toutes les autres nations. Et ces deux pays euh, défendront l'Afrique comme euh, euh, le Cameroun, comme euh, le Ghana. Euh, euh, donc, pour moi, c'est le même continent qui défendra euh, nos chances. Well, I don't uh, make that difference between the North African countries and uh, the other part of Africa. For mm. me, it's uh, Africa. In, in, uh, as a whole, yeah. and I believe uh, Tunisia, Morocco have the same chances like the other African countries, and I believe these two countries will go a long way to defend the African continent, just like Cameroon, Ghana, and the likes. All right, most definitely. Now, Senegal this, also. Senegal. No, Senegal also, yeah. Now, this is uh, Warmer Plus right here on TV3. It's a show that we're bringing you exclusive one with Samo Leto, who's in our studios this morning. Samo, let's touch on your, um, your ambitions of becoming FA president in Cameroon. When did this dream start? Oh, uh, je, je, ce, ce rêve uh, uh, a pris plutôt forme parce qu'il y avait pas mal d'opportunités qui se présentaient à, à moi, mais uh, uh, j'étais fatigué de, de, de voir que ce football-là, malgré les efforts de ceux-là qui aiment le football, uh, uh, on n'arrivait pas à, à le faire décoller. Alors, je me suis dit que j'allais me mettre au service de tout cela pour euh, euh, pouvoir encadrer les choses et que ce football-là euh, décolle une fois, une fois pour toutes. Well, uh, I'd rather say the dream uh, took shape because uh, at the time uh, I had a couple of opportunities. But uh, I was actually, actually tired of the way things were going in the country. People have the beautiful, uh, the love for the beautiful game. Mm. And... Uh, uh, the situation was not uh, seeing uh, the progress it required. Yeah. So I took it upon myself to take matters in my hand, and then uh, that's why I took up that mantle in order to change things. Right. Now, uh, Samo, what, what things are you looking to change in, the, in, the, in Cameroonian football? What do you think has to change? Oh, pas seulement dans le football camerounais, mais dans nos différents championnats un peu partout dans, uh, en, en Afrique. Il uh, y a déjà la gestion. <laughs> la gestion... Euh, C'est une gestion, je dirais, publique. Je ne dirais même pas, elle est publique. Euh, il faut qu'elle soit beaucoup plus fluide. Euh, euh, L'organisation, l'anticipation, euh, il, il y a beaucoup à faire. Le développement du football jeune, permettre au football amateur, qui est beaucoup plus nombreux, de pouvoir jouer et de s'épanouir. Euh, le beat soccer euh, aussi. Il y a plusieurs chantiers que nous devons faire. Et surtout, 
à la fin de tout ça, pouvoir vendre euh, euh, ce football-là pour qu'il soit compétitif au, au niveau du football européen. So, of course, um, for the football game, there's a lot to do, not just in football, but also with management. It starts with management, and when you talk about management, it's public management. It needs to be a bit more smooth. Uh, we also need to develop uh, yeah, the young talent. We need to develop uh, amateur football, uh, beach soccer. There's a lot to do so that the football we have in Africa could be sold at the international level. All right. You were, you were, you were compared a lot with Roger Miller when you were starting out. Did that put extra pressure on you, you know, as a, as a footballer for Cameroon and knowing what Roger Miller had done for the country? C'était un honneur pour moi et surtout un rêve de toujours penser que je voulais ressembler à, 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 à la légende interplanétaire Roger Miller. Euh, les gens ont toujours voulu nous comparer, mais l'histoire que Roger Miller a écrite, elle est unique, elle nous a permis à tous de de rêver, euh, euh, de jouer au football et surtout de devenir euh, grand à travers notre passion. Okay, it was actually uh, an honor and also a dream to be yeah. uh, to be to look up to a world legend like uh, Roger Miller and uh, the success that he's achieved is unique and is something that encourage most of us to uh, to follow his in his footstep and become like him and. Uh, et c'est un honneur d'être comme lui pour l'histoire qu'il a écrite et, et surtout il nous a permis de rêver. Et c'était un honneur d'être partie de l'histoire qu'il a pu écrire en tant que footballeur et il a nous donné ce rêve. Oui, et Samuel, Miller a scoré cinq fois au World Cup, tu as scoré trois fois. Was that a target you were looking at, at beating? And did that disappoint you a bit that you couldn't beat Miller's record? Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, moi, ce que je voulais toujours à chaque fois que je partais en Coupe du Monde, c'était d'aider mon pays et mes coéquipiers à aller le plus loin possible dans la, la compétition. Vous savez, j'ai eu beaucoup de records personnels, mais je n'allais jamais les chercher. Uh, J'allais toujours essayer d'apporter ma contribution euh, à l'équipe pour qu'on puisse gagner des, des, des matchs. Euh, je suis heureux que Roger ait ce record, euh, mais ce n'est pas quelque chose que j'ai voulu euh, pendant ma carrière euh, aller chercher. Well, uh, this was actually not my, my target. My dream was just to play for my country and help my country to go as far as possible in the, in the game. Of course, I've had some personal record, but it was not my sole intention. Mm. It came during my, my, my career. And uh, all I wanted to do was to contribute to the team. And I'm happy that uh, Roger Bila actually set that record, but it was never my target to break it. Well, most certainly. I mean, Felix, I think you are doing excellent with the, with the translation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, many of us are quite lost in, in there. But uh, Samo, you, you want two Afghans. Uh, with Cameroon, you went on to win an Olympic gold with Cameroon. Do you feel fulfilled with everything you achieved for, for, for your country? Est-ce que, avec tout ce que vous avez gagné comme un trophée, médaille, est-ce que vous vous sentez accompli? No, on n'est jamais accompli. Uh, uh, vous, je vous prends un exemple de ma carrière. Uh, c'est que c'est à la fin de ma carrière que j'ai regardé tous les trophées que j'ai gagnés. Well, uh, one is never fulfilled. Let me give you a typical example. Uh, you'll be surprised that it's at the end of my football career that I had the opportunity to really look at the trophies that I've gathered. Right. Now, uh, Samuel, I mean, uh, as, a, as a footballer, there would be so many moments, the happy times, the sad times. What was your most heartbreaking moment playing for Cameroon? Um, C'est le jour où ma maman est venue dans un stade en Europe pour la première fois. C'était Brésil, Cameroon. So that moment you're talking about is actually uh, the, the day where my mother was present in the stadium. Mm. It was a match uh, that saw Brazil going against Cameroon. Right. And, and, and how was that game for you, the Brazil-Cameroon game? I scored an amazing goal. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> right. right. So, uh, 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 Samuel, Ghana plays, Camer uh, Ghana plays Brazil in uh, September, which is a game that's coming up right before the World Cup. Now, playing in a game against Brazil and knowing 
the kind of pedigree Brazil has. What, what, what do you think that game, that game will be like? Uh, C'est normal parce que le Brésil jouera contre le Cameroun euh, pendant la, la, la Coupe du Monde. Ça, ça nous permettra aussi d'observer euh, euh, cette, cette belle équipe du, du Brésil. Et, et c'est un beau match de préparation pour, pour, pour le Ghana. Well, of course, uh, um, Brazil will be up against Cameroon in the World Cup. And uh, this will be an, a phase uh, where Ghana will have to observe Brazil. And uh, it's more like a, a preparation phase for them right. in anticipation to what they will face later. All right, most definitely. Thank you so much, Felix. Thank you to uh, Samoleto as well for gracing our studios this morning. But this is still Warmer Plus right here on TV3. We're taking a break. When we come back, though, we are talking more about Qatar, the infrastructure, how much their country has invested into this World Cup, where you will sleep when you go to Qatar, the hotels, everything right here on Warm Up Plus. Don't go away. Right, so we're back. This is the Warmer Plus right here on TV3. Samoleto is still in the studio. And as I said, uh, before we went on the break, we're talking uh, the World Cup and everything about it. It's Qatar 2022. You're excited. I am excited. And let's, uh, uh, I'm sure Samuel is also excited. Now, many of you are sending me messages that I need to learn French. Samuel has already told me that I need to learn French. So please, <laughs> <laughs> please, please keep that on hold. Samuel, uh, we're back. What, what do you make of the infrastructure in Qatar? So many magnificent stadiums. Uh, have gone up in the last two, three years in the country. What, what do you make of them? Um, je suis uh, tellement fier de voir ce que le Qatar a fait toutes ces années au niveau des infrastructures. Et parfois même, je me sens jaloux. Well, I'm very proud to see what uh, Qatar has achieved over the years in terms of infrastructure. And sometimes, I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> je veux redevenir footballeur. I feel like becoming a footballer once again. Jouer pour profiter I de ces installations. <laughs> C'est vrai. And, and enjoy this beautiful infrastructure. Vous savez, quand vous arrivez et vous voyez, pour nous, footballeurs, vous voyez ces beaux stades, vous avez juste une envie, c'est de jouer au football. A footballer, as we are, you know, once you see this magnificent uh, stadium, the only thing that comes to mind is that you want to go back and play. Yeah. You, Mais, you, you, you want to join the Cameroon team? <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. For me now, I am president now. This is a little bit difficult. Uh, right. This right. one is for my um, young brother Asamoa. Asamoa, it's for, it's for Asamoa. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, uh, he's 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 starting to get in shape. So hopefully, you know, he he take, he takes us to the I World hope Cup. Hope he will be there. Now, now, now. I mean, um, after you heard his his announcement of you know getting ready to join the Ghana team to the World Cup, but how do you feel about it? C'est toujours bien de voir uh, tous ces enfants d'Afrique qui ont écrit une belle histoire, qui ont aidé leur pays à, à être disponible pour aider. Well, it's always good to see um, these young African sons of the land who have achieved great success, uh, wanted to come back and uh, help their country. Right. Maintenant, il y a un sélectionneur qui va devoir prendre la décision s'il doit l'amener ou pas. Of course, the final decision is that of the coach. Yeah, but but would, would you would you advise Asamoah to join the team to go to the World Cup? On, euh, je ne peux pas prendre cette décision parce que je ne suis pas sélectionneur de, 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 de cette équipe. Mais évidemment que je suis heureux pour lui de voir qu'il a cette envie. Well, uh, that decision is not mine to take. Yeah. Uh, it's up to the coach. But I'm happy that he has such a desire to go back onto the field. Yeah. Now, uh, Samo, I mean, from, from an African perspective, what do you think awaits... Um, African teams and Africans at Qatar, in Qatar when the World Cup begins in, in November? Alors, selon vous, euh, quand vous, vous, si on prend une perspective mondiale, qu'est-ce que vous pensez? Qu'est-ce qui qu attend les Africains aussi que les équipes africaines? Et que les supporters. Ah oui. Euh, ben, écoutez, ce qui nous attend tous là-bas, c'est la plus belle des Coupes du Monde. Ce sont des infrastructures de dernière génération. Euh, ce sont des hôtels magnifiques. Après, au prix abordable pour tout le monde. Et j'espère vraiment que notre, notre continent, nos supporters voyageront euh, massivement.
pour euh, supporter euh, euh, notre continent Well, uh, what is awaiting us is uh, the most beautiful World Cup ever. Of course, uh, there are beautiful hotels that are affordable mm. for everyone. And uh, also, I believe that uh, our funds will travel in their numbers to support the African nation. Now, as, as, a, as, a, as a footballer, how do you feel when you're playing, specifically at the World Cup, and then your fans are singing in the stands and chanting your name? Je pense que c'est l'une des plus belles choses pour un footballeur. It's one of the most beautiful moments for a footballer. Right, most definitely. Now, now still, on, still on the African teams though, because I mean, we, 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 we need to get everything out of them. Now, we've spoken about Ghana, Cameroon, Morocco, and also Tunisia. We haven't spoken too much about, about Senegal. What do you make of that Senegal team after winning the Africa Cup of Nations? Je pense que uh, 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 le Sénégal sera uh, uh, la tête de liste de tous ces pays africains parce qu'ils sont champions d'Afrique et parce qu'aujourd'hui ils ont le meilleur joueur au monde dans leur rang euh, c'est qui les donne euh, cette place là et c'est un, un pays euh, que j'aime énormément et c'est une équipe que j'adore parce que je connais pratiquement toute l'équipe et surtout le sélectionneur qui fait un très très bon boulot et le président de la fédération qui est un grand frère Don't you see fear? Well, um, Senegal will be one of the leading teams in the World Cup uh, because uh, they are recently the African champions and they have one of the best players uh, um, on in their the team mm -hmm. and in the world. And also, I love the country, I love the, the team, and uh, I know almost everybody on the team. Mm -hmm. I also know the, the president of their federation, who is a big brother to me. So I think they will do great. Great. Now, um, uh, Senegal's coach is Aliou Sisse. Uh, Cameroon's coach, Rigobert Song, our coach in Ghana is Otoado, who are all former players. What do you make of former players becoming coaches and guiding their national teams to big tournaments like this? Je suis heureux parce que l'Afrique donne des opportunités à, à leurs enfants. I'm happy because uh, Africa is actually giving opportunity to uh, its uh, citizen to... Its son. Its son, son, if you want. <laughs> its sons to do the work. Right, right. Now, uh, I mean, uh, when, when, you, when you talk about having, you know, Africa giving opportunities to its sons to, you know, do the coaching job and kind of like getting um, their teams to the World Cup and the highest level, you know, I mean, um, for, for someone like Otoado, our coach, he was, uh, he came in trying to change a culture. The general culture about teams of the, on the African continent should change, don't you think? Hello, quand on parle de ces ces fils euh, du pays qui qu deviennent qu 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 devienne sélectionneurs et qui veulent changer la chose. Euh, Qu'est-ce que vous pensez Si on prend la perspective euh, en Afrique, est-ce que ce paysage doit vraiment changer en matière d'entraîneur de, Pourquoi il ne changera pas C'est la question. Why, why won't it change That's actually the question to ask. Pourquoi il ne changera pas Il a les capacités de, de faire changer les choses, il faut qu'on l'accompagne. So they have uh, the potential <coughs> to bring about changes. Mm. So we just need to support them. Most definitely. Now, um, Samuel, what do you make of um, also players who switch nationalities, you know, to come back here and play for uh, their countries on the African continent? Um, for, for Ghana, there's been six players who have already uh, switched their nationalities to play for, for us. I'm, I'm sure in Cameroon, there are, there are players who are also uh, doing exactly. the same thing, also in Senegal and, and many other African countries. What is the general idea of this? Mais moi, je suis très heureux qu'ils acceptent de jouer avec nous parce que quand vous regardez d'autres nations, euh, euh, elles gagnent beaucoup de trophées avec euh, des joueurs africains. Donc, nous sommes toujours très heureux quand euh, un joueur qui a la possibilité de jouer avec d'autres nations décide de jouer euh, euh, pour nous. Well, I'm very happy because uh, when you, you look at uh, other nations, Mostly, they have a lot of Africans on their team uh, who help them win trophies. So it's good uh, that they decide to play for their countries. It's an, an opportunity for us to do great things. Most definitely. Now, um, with, with regards to that, there's also uh, an issue of the African Cup of Nations and why African players always leave their clubs to come and play for their, uh, for their national teams during January and February. Do you kind of understand the frustration of the European teams who have to deal with their players leaving to come and play on the African continent, especially 
uh, with um, Napoli's president, Aurelio De Laurenti, saying he's not going to buy any African players if they would still be coming to Africa to play in the AFCON. Yeah, but uh, there's something it will happen in November, December in Qatar. Mm. It's football. Mm. You need to respect that. You need to respect that. Yeah, but 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 what do you what do, what do you make of that? What do you make of the the African uh, players who, you know, uh, it's it's frustrating really for for them and also for their teams, don't you think? Je ne dirais pas que c'est frustrant. <laughs> Je dirais que c'est une opinion d'un président. Mais euh, euh, mon opinion en tant que président, c'est que si mon sélectionneur estime qu'un joueur euh, d'une équipe professionnelle doit rejoindre l'équipe nationale, ben administrativement, je ferai, mes équipes feront le boulot et puis le joueur sera tenu de se présenter. Well, I was, I would not say this is frustrating because uh, this is uh, somebody's opinion. Right. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, as a uh, federation pres president, if my coach thinks that he needs a player on his team, we will do everything possible to bring him, and uh, the player will have no choice but to join us. Most well, definitely. Now, Samuel, your uh, your job as uh, Qatar FIFA um, 2022 World Cup Legacy Ambassador. Uh, will be to generally go around African countries and, and rally support for, for their national teams. And you're doing that pretty, pretty well. When November comes, what would be your duties also during the World Cup? Alors, votre rôle en tant qu'ambassadeur de la Coupe du Monde, c'est de faire le tour des pays, de rassembler tout le monde, de les préparer vers ce grand événement. Alors, le jour de l'événement, quel serait votre rôle Je serai toujours ambassadeur, seulement je serai en plus d'ambassadeur président de la Fédération du Cameroun. Well, I'll still be uh, a legacy ambassador, but just to add to that, I'll still be, uh, I'll be the president of my federation in Cameroon. <laughs> Most definitely. Let's, uh, let's, let's touch also uh, a bit more on, uh, on, 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 on my country, on, on Ghana. And, uh, our country. Our country. Uh -huh. Most definitely, our country. Yes. And... Uh, we didn't do too well at the African Cup of Nations in, in Cameroon. Ghana kicked, were kicked out in the, in the group stages. And for the World Cup qualifiers, we faced Nigeria. And then we showed a bit of grit to qualify to the World Cup. When you compare what we did at AFCON to the qualifiers against Nigeria, what do you make of the Ghana team? Le football n'est pas une science exacte. Well, football is not, um, let me say, um, an exact science. Mm. Um, pour une ou plusieurs raisons, vous pouvez passer à côté d'une compétition. For one or, uh, one or another reason, you can miss the cup. Le problème, c'est d'identifier le ou les problèmes. So the main thing is to identify the problem or the problems. Et les solutionner. And of course, find solutions. Et je suis heureux parce que le Ghana s'est qualifié pour la Coupe du Monde. And I'm very happy because Ghana was able to qualify for the World Cup. Parce qu'ils ont identifié le ou les problèmes. Because they were able to identify that problem or the problems that were. Et ils ont trouvé les solutions qui s'adaptaient pour le moment. And uh, eventually, they found the appropriate solutions for now. Most well, definitely. How, how are the preparations going for Cameroon ahead of the World Cup? Bien, bien. On s'organise pour que l'équipe soit dans les meilleures conditions. Uh, preparations are ongoing well. And uh, we are doing our best to give uh, the team the best condition possible. Now, Cameroon is, uh, is a country that has put African football on the map. I mean, um, uh, everyone talks about Cameroon and we, all, we go all the way back to 1990 when they did incredibly well, you know, qualifying to the quarterfinals, beating teams like Argentina and reaching there. This time around, you're in a group with Brazil. What are we to expect? Alors, le Cameroon a toujours eu uh, un très bon parcours. En 1990, ils ont fait un bon parcours contre le Brésil. Et cette fois-ci, qu'est-ce qu'on peut espérer du Cameroun Mais, Notre souhait, c'est comme ce que je souhaite pour tous les pays euh, africains, c'est de gagner cette Coupe du Monde. Well, uh, it's the same hope that I have for the other African countries, that of lifting the trophy. Mm. Can, can an African team lift this trophy Why not You think so Je pense que c'est très possible. I think it's very possible. Le Ghana est passé à côté d'une demi-finale pour peu. Well, Ghana missed it by a shot. Mm. 
How do you feel about Ghana missing it uh, at the 2010 World Cup? On était tous frustrés. I think we are all frustrated. Mm. Uh, mais c'est une histoire qui est derrière notre continent. Oh, well, this is already in the past. So, um, so the country that halted Ghana's chances of going there was Uruguay. We have been paired in the same group with Uruguay as well. As a former player going into a game like that, knowing what has happened in the past, how do you approach a game like that? Uh, c'est pourquoi nous sommes joueurs. <laughs> I think that's what makes us players. Uh, je sais que les garçons auront une revanche à prendre. Well, um, I believe uh, the boys would like to have a revenge. Et j'espère qu'ils la tiendront. And I hope they achieve it. But if, normally when you are going into games with revenge in your hearts, um, isn't that too much on, on a player knowing not. that it's not? Not. It's motivation. <laughs> this is still one more plus right here on TV3. And... Um, we still have Samoletto in the studio. We've been talking the World Cup and it's coming up in November in Qatar. We're talking Ghana's chances, Cameroon's chances and the chances of the African teams that are there. He's already spoken about Ghana and uh, going into the game against Uruguay, the World Cup, what we should expect. And he says that the general motivation will be to go in there and seek revenge against the Uruguayans. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, for us and then for, Af for, the, uh, for the whole of the African continent right here. And uh, we're just looking that things will get better for African football generally. But let's move on now to uh, some, some more things right here on the show. Samo, let's go a bit back to your, your playing career and, you know, playing for different clubs, for Barcelona, for Mallorca, for Madrid, for Chelsea, for Everton, for Anji Makachkala. I mean, I, I, could, I could count so many. And you, you won everywhere. Everywhere you played, you won. I try. You, you tried to win, <laughs> but, but, you, but you did win. Mm -hmm. what, what, what does that mean for you that you were one of the players who made an impact in every team you played at? C'est un honneur pour moi. Et comme je le disais euh, un, tantôt, euh, je ne m'étais jamais arrêté pour regarder ça. ça à, à la fin de ma carrière que je me suis rendu compte que euh, j'avais eu beaucoup d'impact dans, dans tous les clubs où je suis passé. Well, uh, it's an honor. It's an honor given me. But uh, as I said earlier on, at no point in time did I really stop to uh, take track of my success. Mm. It was only at the end of my career that I really had to look on it and yeah. see what I've achieved. Yeah. Now, for all that you achieved, which one meant the most for you? Oh, Mallorca. <laughs> why why Mallorca? Statement. Pourquoi Mallorca Parce que j'ai commencé à Mallorca, parce que euh, à Mallorca, on m'a donné euh, une opportunité de devenir un homme. Et parce que à Mallorca, j'ai gagné euh, l'un de mes premiers trophées où tout le monde euh, pensait que c'était impossible. Well, uh, Mallorca, because that was my beginning, that is where I was given a chance to start my career as a man. And, uh, also where I won my first trophy when everybody thought it was impossible. Now, Samuel, what do you make of young players also who start off at very big teams? I mean, you, you started off, you know, like you said, at, at, and, you know, you played for some big teams, but you started off at, at Mallorca where you won your first trophy and that meant so much for you. What, what would you say to a young player who's going to Europe and maybe starting off at a club like Milan or Barcelona or Madrid? C'est leur chance. Well, it, it's an opportunity for them. Je ne peux pas reprocher ça à un jeune joueur. Well, I will not hold it against them. Uh, je dis juste, uh, si ils ont commencé par le Milan, ou le Real Madrid, ou le Barça, uh, c'est une responsabilité. Well, I would just say that when they start with big teams like uh, Real Madrid, or uh, Inter Milan, or Barça, they should know that it's a big responsibility Parce on their shoulders. C'est entrer parfois... Parce que moi aussi, j'ai commencé au Real Madrid. Because I also begin Et with parfois, il y a beaucoup plus de pression. <laughs> And there's a lot more pressure there. Donc, right. euh, il faut juste qu'ils restent concentrés. So they just need to remain focused. Et se dire que euh, c'est parce qu'ils ont mérité qu'ils sont là. And know that it's because they deserved it. That's why they find themselves where they are. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel. Let's uh, take a break now. When we come back, though, we are talking fun experience here. 
uh, the fun experience at, at, at Qatar and in the World Cup. We're talking all that here, right here on uh, TV3 and also on Warmer Plus. What kind of fun are you to expect when you get to when you get to Qatar? I know quite a number of people who have gotten their tickets, they've gotten their hotel reservations booked. Someone will tell us what kind of experience you would have when you get to Qatar. Stay with us on TV3. We'll be back. This is still Warmer Plus right here on TV3. Uh, my name is Yao Ofosulabi. We are still talking. The World Cup in Qatar, Samoleto is still here. And many of your comments are pouring in on, on Facebook. I'll get into your comments, particularly the Kotoko fans. You're sending messages about Etuga and Bella. I would ask your questions for you. But this is just about the fun experience that you should expect when you head to Qatar. It says all Qataris and residents and visitors attending the FIFA World Cup matches will need to obtain a higher card. Now, the higher card is... Uh, pre-approved entry permit to the country, ensuring that fans have a smooth journey to the FIFA World Cup. All fans will need their higher card to enter Qatar's eight spectacular stadiums to watch the matches. The higher card and higher to Qatar 2022 app will, will now offer ticket holders free access to public transport and entire duration, uh, or the entire duration of the tournament and rather uh, than just on March days. So, I mean, you should download the, the higher app and try to get the higher card, which will help you get the best experience when you get to Qatar. And so, you know, you should get into that as well. So if you're one of the Ghana fans who has already uh, ensured going into Qatar, you've gotten your reservations done and everything, please try to download the higher app and then the higher card. Now, Samo, what, 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 would, what do you make of the fan experience? Aside from the stadiums, what is in store for, uh, for fans when they get to Qatar? Alors, euh, selon vous, à part les stades, quelles, quelles, sont les, quelles sont les autres expériences auxquelles les fans doivent s'attendre quand ils seront à, au Qatar La chance que nous avons au, au, au Qatar, c'est que nous avons un beau désert, nous avons la plage pour ceux qui voudront découvrir quelques belles plages de Doha. Well, uh, one beautiful uh, opportunity is that uh, there's a desert in Doha and also they have a beautiful uh, beaches. So, for those who like to discover the beaches, It will be an experience. Il y a un endroit que j'aime particulièrement à, à Doha, c'est Banana Island. Well, I have a favorite in Doha, which is uh, called Banana Island. Mm. Donc, euh, je recommande fortement à nos supporters de visiter cette belle île. Well, I, I recommend it to our fans mm. to go and have an experience at that beautiful island. Et après, la vie est très agréable à, à Doha, vous verrez. C'est une belle ville, facile. And once again, life is uh, easy at Doha. It's a beautiful uh, city, and et, you see it yourself. Et les gens ne pourront pas uh, s'ennuyer uh, uh, après les matchs. And there's no way you get bored after the matches. What, what, are, what are your experiences? You know, uh, the, the, the stadiums. What should fans also expect entering the stadium? What kind of atmosphere are we to expect? And how are the um, you know the, the Qatar's local organizing committee ensuring that fans have a safe stay in the stadiums. Uh, pour la sécurité au stade, je vous dirais elle est à 2000%. Well, when it comes to security in the uh, stadiums, I'll tell you is all the way up to 200%. Et pour l'ambiance dans les stades, uh, uh, les stades sont adaptés pour que les gens s'amusent, pour que les fans s'amusent. And for the atmosphere, it's uh, the stadiums are built such that the fans could really Have fun, as say. Et j'espère vraiment que il, il, les fans du monde vont profiter de ces magnifiques installations comme les joueurs. Most definitely. Now, uh, uh, Samuel, let's, let's head to Facebook now. Your, your messages <laughs> are pouring in. Now, this is from Ibn Ibrahim. He says, uh, Samuel, I really like the answer you gave about the African players and how they have to come back to play at the AFCON. Now, also, uh, Abdul Ghani, you says, um, uh, he's, he's talking about your experience about winning, you know, um, the World Player of the Year, you know, at your time in Barcelona. And uh, there's another one here that says that from Akilu Anan, he says, what do you make of the performances of the Cameroonian players in the Ghana League? One of them, Etuga Mbela at Kumasi Asante Kotoko. 
Et, et Mbella, il est en train de faire, il a fait une très très belle saison. Mbella a une très belle saison. Et je sais qu'il y a quelques mois, mon sélectionneur m'avait parlé de lui. Et je me souviens de quelques mois, mon sélectionneur m'a dit de lui. Et même euh, mon directeur technique national m'a parlé de lui. Et même le national technique directeur m'a aussi parlé de lui. Uh, nous sommes heureux de ce qu'il est en train de faire dans notre championnat ghanéen. Mais c'est quelqu'un que nous suivons. And, uh, this is somebody we have our radars on. Samo, what's the best goal you've scored? Oof, my best goal, I think, is was uh, Brazil Cameroon uh, in Paris. Who's the best defender you faced? Eric Besson. Rigo Betsong. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, also, uh, who's, your, who's the, your best manager? My best manager, uh, Mourinho. Mourinho. Uh, what about Mourinho? Oh, c'est quelqu'un de bien. Oh, this is a great person. C'est un grand manager. He's a great uh, manager. Mm. C'est quelqu'un qui sait motiver ses troupes. And he's somebody who knows how to motivate the team. Et surtout, c'est quelqu'un de correct. And uh, this, uh, he's, he's upright. Mm. Now, who's your favorite African player of all time? Uh, I have a lot. Mm. Give me three. Oof, it's impossible. <laughs> give you three, but I, I try to give you ten. Ten. Uh, okay, so, so, so give me. Um, Roger Mila, Mr. President, George Weah. George Weah. Uh, Abedji Pele. Abedji Pele. Um, uh, Michael Essien, okay. Yaya Touré, mm. Didier Drogba, mm. Adebayo, mm. Uh, uh, Rigo Besson, Patrick Mboma, mm. uh, Jeremy Njita. Yeah. Last one. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. <laughs> I have a lot. Eh? <laughs> I have a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, um, James Deba, mm. uh, Mwako Kanu. Okay. JJ uh, Okocha. Okocha, of course. Yeah. Now, so, 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 so JJ, just... big, 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 big JJ Okocha. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Mokashi. Uh, uh, Daniel Mokashi. Yes. I mean, Africa was. Now, uh, let's narrow it down to Ghana. Favorite Ghanaian player of all time? Oh, uh, the one and only, Abedi Pele. Abedi Pele. <laughs> He's for all Africa mm. one of the best players ever mm. in the world. Mm. Ever. One of the best players ever in the world. Ever. Now, Mane or Salah? Oh, for me, uh, uh, c'est deux bons joueurs d'Afrique. These are two deux uh, bons joueurs qui représentent le continent plutôt. These are two, two great African players that represent the African continent. Mm. Et j'aime pas souvent comparer les Africains. And yeah. I often don't like to compare, uh, do that comparison between African players. Parce que nous devons nous mettre ensemble et être plus forts pour okay. uh, uh, nous comparer aux autres. Because we need to unite yeah. so that we can compare ourselves to, uh, with uh, the other nations. All right, most definitely. Now, um, Samuel, just before you go, though, um, my, my, my producers are asking me to ask you, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Messi. Ah, okay. Uh, just before we go, though. Uh, it's a problem for you? No, it's no problem for me. Ah, I love Messi. You're a Manchester fan? No, I think Messi is great. Ah, okay, no, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, just before we go, though, Aniela, uh, you, you can please join us now. We have a, a small gift for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, madame. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the entire three sports team, would like to give you this. Look, take it Thank it's, you, a, it's a smock. It's from Charlie Wood. Yeah. And I just want to show you exactly what it looks like. Ah. It originates from the northern part of Ghana. Okay. You know. I can wear it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Okay. okay. I think. No. Uh, is this size? Yeah. yeah this uh -huh. way. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's it. I think my body guy <laughs> is wearing this yesterday. Oh. Hey guys, <laughs> I look good, huh? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. But I do have a problem with the Messi and Ronaldo about you behind the scenes. Uh, Ronaldo, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but Messi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for You're welcome. the show. <laughs> right. So, so uh, this is Warm Up Plus right here on TV3. Samo. Uh, it's, an, it's an honor to have you. Thank I mean, you. I, I started watching you as a boy, and it's an honor for me as well, you know, to have you on the show. So on, on behalf of the, the sports team here, thank you so much for You're coming. Welcome. Felix, thank you so much, you know, for, for doing a great job. 
Thank interpreting uh, what, what someone was, say, uh, was saying to most of us. But someone I'll get some French classes at the Alliance Francaise. Okay. Yeah, so that the I next time we meet... do the same time with my English. Yeah, so the next time we meet, we'll have a conversation. Okay. Thank you so much, Samo. And uh, we would talk uh, later sometime. But this is Roma Plus right here on TV3. Uh, this is how we end the show. Next week, we are back with another exciting edition. Stay with us on TV3 always. <laughs>